Hello, what is data discovery and classification? Why should your organization care about it? In this video, we will try to answer both questions. So, let's start. Data is the most critical asset of any organization. To protect it, you have to know what data you have and where it lives. At the same time, finding and identifying data inside a corporate network is one of the most complex and challenging tasks. Let's take a look at some figures from Data Breach Report 2021 by IBM. According to it, the average total costs of a data breach keeps rising, and it hit over $4 million in 2021. Personal data, both customers and employees, was included in 70% of all breaches in the study, and it was also the costliest record type, at $180 per lost or stolen record. One more figure, which might surprise you. It took an average of 287 days to identify and contain a data breach. To put this in perspective, if a breach occurs on January 1st, it won't be contained until October 14th. Failing to protect data can cost a lot of money. However, costs were significantly lower for some organizations with more mature security processes and higher for organizations that lagged in areas such as security automation, zero trust and cloud security. Data discovery is the process of scanning your environment to determine where data resides. For example, it can live in databases, file servers and cloud storage. Potentially all of them can contain sensitive and regulated data. In the next slide, you can see what a list of repositories looks like in our discovery and classification program, which is called Inventor. There are a couple of Oracle databases, two cloud storage, and a shared folder. Data classification follows the data discovery step. Data classification is the process of identifying the types of data within the discovered data sources and assigning classification labels to that data. It is up to you and your business needs which types or labels to use. For example, data can be classified as public, private and internal. Or data can be grouped based on roles, employees, suppliers and customers. Data classification informs how you should treat and protect your data. It also helps identify data governed by regulations, like GDPR in the European Union, and enables you to implement the controls required to achieve compliance. Here's what it looks like in real-world software. In this case, all the data were grouped geographically customers Europe and USA, roles, employees, and business needs, loyalty club. Let's summarize what we've learned about data discovery and classification. Corporate networks are full of data, like personal data of employees, clients, or contractors, that must be protected. To find all this data in the network, data discovery and classification software is required. For example, OneTouch Inventor. Data discovery and classification tools can vary in many different ways. For example, some of them can find all the data sources automatically. In contrast, others need to be provided with a complete list of repositories. A discovery and classification program produces a list of data repositories where data lives and it also classifies all the information that was found based on your business purposes and reasons for processing the data. Excellent! Now you know where data resides and what data should be protected especially carefully. And you definitely deserve a big cup of tea or coffee for such a big step towards better data protection of personal data. Let's sum it up. Data discovery and classification go hand in hand. Data discovery is the first step. It finds repositories containing personal data in your corporate network. Classification continues the process. It helps identify the types of data and informs you how to treat and protect it. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day and let your data be safe.